Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's Michael from Starstreams back with another video. Today we're going to do a quick bite-sized run of rock mining, rock gem mining, using a ground vehicle, which is a grey cat rock. I want to try and keep this as short as I can, so I'm going to basically aggressively edit this video. If you're new to Star Citizen, welcome to the verse! You're in for a treat. If you're new to rock mining in general, then welcome to the game loop. The best game loop in the game. Now, if anyone's going to give you a good guide on rock mining, it's going to be me. I am the champion rock miner, the Lord of Day self-confessed if this was a Olympic event then I would win gold silver and bronze then I'd leave it behind because we're only going for Haddonite you can already see how quick this edit is gonna be right <laughs> I'm skipping this thing your time is valuable my time is valuable let's just crack on with this so if you've got a bit of money get yourself a nomad freelancer max any of those ships will be fine if you have no money you'll need to rent a transport ship and you'll need to rent a rock no problem Problem. you can find them here any l1 location on the star map and this is what the star map looks like right now once you're here go down to the refinery this is what the elevators look like and you're going to the refinery the layouts are different for each station just something to bear in mind with binary uh we're going to go through the bottom section here mining support center and there's some terminals over here nope wrong one here are the equipment rental to do you mind i'm trying to do a video geez so rude equipment rentals in here drake cutlass black here currently at the time of this video it's thirty-four thousand a day really i mean the more days i guess the more days you book the better discount you get i don't know i'd do one day you're gonna make that money back super quick and then a gray cat rock is there i already have about 19 gray cat rocks one of them is a pledge let's go back to hangers if you want a good list a definitive list of what good ships are to rock mine with check out my video top five rock mining transportation ships something like that i'll put a link to it in the description but hey i'll put a link to it in the description and somewhere up on the screen right now this is my favorite ship of all time for rock mining it's the anvil valkyrie and it is literally chef's kiss Oh. Okay, so where are we going to go? Good question. Where are the best places to rock mine? You've got your big four. That hasn't changed in 2023 at the time of this video's release. My personal favourite, which is Magda, which is where we're going today. We've got Daymar as well. Both of those are very, very easy to mine on. And then you've got the more difficult moons of Ariel and Aberdeen. I've done a proper tier list on this. I'll drop a link right now up somewhere and in the description somewhere you need to collect your gray cat rock we're going to go to magda there's a couple of mining outposts here that you can go to hdms is a mining outpost that's where we can spawn our rock which is our mining ground vehicle now this is a long way so i'm going to do a little cut before we uh, go on to Magdo, I just wanted to highlight the playlist that I have for all mining, rock mining kind of advice and guides. You can find it on my channel. I've got best places to go, tips on how to mine. It goes into greater detail. This is just like a surface scratch for this particular video. Don't do that. That's fine. When you get off your ship, you're looking for this blue building here. By the way, I fixed my ship. That was a bit embarrassing. You know, accidents happen. A good landing is one way you don't die. Wow, look at that sun. Isn't that pretty? This is why it's my favourite moon. And also, it's pretty good for Haddonite, which is all we're going for. While you're here, you may as well stock up on some cruise shakes. They are the best thing for food and drink. You find these crates all over the outpost. There they are. That's what they look like. I've already got loads of stuff in local. I'm going to take these. Now, because I'm only showing this today, I'm not really going to be worrying about loading up but you should have armor on you and or move things into your ship accordingly so the gray cat rock is here let's call it i might have destroyed it previously i don't know what happened there <clears throat> now this is the basic gray cat i haven't upgraded it you can upgrade the coolers and the uh, power and i highly recommend you do upgrade the units there is a video for that on my channel rock to super rock okay so the beauty of magda is you can see what's ahead of you it's got good visibility unlike ariel and aberdeen which are highly hostile Daymar and Magda are pretty awesome there we go let's go and find some Hadonite okay we're gonna head to the OM1s which is the north pole of any moon or planet and the reason why we're going there is because it is uh, mostly daylight there so that's pretty cool okay there's OM1 set a course captain <laughs> 
right, here we are. Let's just drop straight down onto the planet's surface. I mean, not literally, you'd explode. So we're going to head down to the planet and I'll catch you when we're there. It might be worth noting that what we want to try and do is avoid mountainous areas. We'll probably head over here, this section here, and then we'll work our way up along here. Cracking gems on hillsides and mountains is hard work. They roll down and this, this approaching the planet gives you a great kind of understanding of what's hilly and mountainous and what isn't. So once we get down to, uh, you see here, once we get down to about 2,000, 1,500, we need to start thinking about moving forward. Give ourselves a reference point. You can either do it using the compass up here. So you're always going in one direction or you can do it with a landmark, in this case, the sun, right? So it makes sense just to go straight line, follow the sun. So we're gonna go quite fast. And we're going to do some pinging with the tab key and we're going to ignore the first few pings and what we're looking for is anything you see these boxes here that means there's something of interest in that proximity we're just looking for anything that pings under 4000 something that drops in under 4000 and on magda you can get massive clusters like massive clusters and we've seen 19s and 20s okay something dropped in here let's have a quick look so you could just stop on the spot press the v button zoom in and scan it and it'll tell you what it is it'll give you a signature and some people follow the signature numbers 4340 right underneath my camera i just don't bother with it i kind of know what's going to be gems and what isn't there we go okay so this one is a uh, seven is it so this one's worth doing if it's had a night but it's not it's green we don't do green the reason why we don't do green is because it's not worth as much and it's a bit of a false economy to be mining those greens when you could be looking for large-scale hadonite you know what i mean there we go there's two that's dropped in quite close to four thousand they could be rocks when i say rocks i mean like or big ore rocks but there's a chance there because they're so close to four thousand they could be gems as well so we'll check both out i think these might be gems oh hello give them a kiss it's Hadonite. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Should we check the other one? <laughs> I think it's one. It's one. That's crazy. You should never uh, mine like this or scan like this by an outpost. You should always go to a, an OM1 and drop down. Less chance of piracy. Now look how good this is at getting into the uh, rock. How quick was that? I literally came from the pilot seat, jumped over the ladder into the into the rock and that's why this is the best ship or one of the reasons why this is the best ship for rock mining right you shouldn't really leave your door your back door open but you know what i do because i'm naughty here we go let's just do a quick uh, mining thing here so we're going to approach now what you want to do really ideally is approach it with them on your left and the reason why is because when you bring the hud up all the important information is on this side and you don't want to be blocking it with a laser so your hud shows what's called an optimax which is how how far you are from the safe zone if it's in green you're good uh, sometimes it bugs out i don't i don't read the optimax at all i don't think it's useful i've blown up when i've been miles away before if you hover over the rock like this you'll see a charge level a laser intensity optimal and overcharge now i would usually use my mouse but in this particular case i'm snobby i'm going to be using a controller which is a mining controller which is available on my website to buy by the way starstreams.com okay i'm going to target this rock over here bring up the power and then on the inside right hand side of the hud you can see the overall charge picking up you want to put it into the green optimal the green optimal so it means that you have to control gently your laser intensity do not go into the overcharge it will blow up now when you're in the uh, optimal you can see that the charge starts moving towards the middle see the green moving towards the middle that means it's um it's all good if you go into the red it will <laughs> it will do the same but in red above and you do not want that because i'm on a controller it's nice and comfortable there we go so we're going to switch into extraction mode now and we're going to just hold position and just gently once it's finished scooping you move your arm Ooh, there we go and just finish off the scooping now i i crack and scoop one at a time because you don't want loads of entities on your screen all at the same time because it slows down your frames per second clear the entities keep it nice and clean crack and scoop crack and scoop okay so i'm just quickly repositioning myself so i can see the ship because you know i've become a bit complacent doing this for so long and you really should be looking at your ship at all times we're going to target this rock here we've got to wait for it to scan and then we'll hit it and then we'll bring up the speed 
it's better to be overly cautious than crazy because you can have server spike so what you want to try and do is bring the green down quite low to about there kind of compensates for a spike okay because the last thing you want is for it to jump into the red you know what i mean It'd be crazy so if you uh are learning anything from this video or if you appreciate the video in any way at all or you like me because you know we're best friends right and feel free to uh tap that little thumbs up button and consider a sneaky sub for loads of rock mining content loads of mining content in general and join the discord there is a link in the description below where we do a lot of group activities and stuff like that i'm just gonna basically head back onto my ship now to rinse and repeat basically on that I always move my gems from the Grey Cat Rock to the ship. You've got limited capacity on your rock and generally you've got a lot more capacity on your ship. So I'll open the back up. See, here is my external storage for the rock. Move it over to my ship. You can see it's 1% there, but if I put it in here, it's like 8%, so you can see. And now your rock's clean again for the next run. Let's go and uh, sell these items but also repair the rock because you should be regularly maintaining your grey cat rock ground vehicle i'm going to send us over to an outpost and then i'll see you once we're there here we go then ideally you need an empty pad this one clearly is not empty because someone's parked a ridiculous ship on it so let's go to the other one. Oh, i just hit a light don't hit a light Right, F1, repair, oh, 21, that's kind of damaged. There we go, let it do its thing. The sail outpost is over here with the big tower. Do you see that big tower? That's where we're going to go. That's where the terminal is. Here's the terminal. Oh, there's a red crate here. You should always loot the crates while you're here. All right, so we're going to do sell. And then we're going to drop down menu and it's in the Valkyrie. It's also an option for rock, but that's my Valk. And then click on this thing here. Forward. And I've made 15k sell. Boom. Lovely. And that concludes very basic rock mining. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. As much as I have making it, I'll see you very soon. Come say hi in a live stream sometime. So long. Ciao.